The cloud market is growing rapidly and represents an important opportunity for the retail and IT giant. AWS has played an increasingly important role in the cloud services industry and has become an important revenue earner for Amazon. In 2013, AWS earned revenues of just over 3 billion US dollars, a number which has since ballooned and sits at over 25 billion US dollars as of 2018. Hi everyone, this is Shantani from Edureka and in today's session, we will talk about the AWS certifications, their job roles and salaries. Basically, it's a roadmap to your AWS certifications. Now, this video is a continuation of the previous one where we discussed about the different types of AWS certifications that you must know as a beginner. Now, in today's session, we will discuss about how these certifications are going to help you in your career and what are the average salaries or the different job roles that you are going to get into. Now, before we get started, let's have a look at today's agenda. So first we will discuss about the objectives of AWS certification and then we will talk about why you need AWS certifications or how is it going to help in your career. And finally, we will talk about the different AWS certifications and their job roles and salaries. Now talking about the objective of AWS within a very short time span, the Amazon Web Services certified professionals are being ranked among the highest paid IT certification holders. And based on a recent salary survey from Global Knowledge, the average salary for a certified employee is around $113,000, which can go as high as $200,000. Now, according to IDC, by 2019, almost half of IT spending became cloud based, and by 2020, the spending will be around 60 to 70 percent, including all software, services, and technology. Also, according to Forbes, by 2020, 83 percent of enterprise workloads will be in the cloud, and the market share of popular cloud service providers by 2020 will stand as 50 percent by Amazon Web Services. Now talking about the objectives, the AWS certification is curated as per the industry requirements and demands. It helps you effectively deploy secure and robust applications on AWS. Also, it helps you identify the appropriate AWS service based on data, compute or security requirements. Now on completion of the AWS certification training, you will be able to design and deploy scalable, highly available and fault tolerant systems on AWS. Efficiently handle ingress and egress data to and from AWS. Also identify the appropriate AWS service based on data, compute, database or security requirements. Also you can identify the appropriate usage of AWS architectural best practices. And finally, you can also estimate AWS pricing and identify cost control mechanisms. So these were some of the objectives of AWS certification. Now talking about why do we actually need AWS certifications? So first, let's see why you should go for this. Now AWS is leading the pack in cloud computing. Whether you are a web developer, database or system admin, big data analyst or IoT developer, chances are you have used the service. The AWS certification helps you pursue career paths like AWS Solutions Architect, AWS Engineer, DevOps Engineer, Cloud Architect, amongst others. Now, in order to avail these opportunities, you need structured AWS training with an updated curriculum as per current industry requirements and best practices. Apart from strong theoretical understanding, you need to work on various real life projects and work on different services for storage, computing, etc. Additionally, you need the advice of an expert who is currently working in the industry and tackling real life challenges. Now, how are these AWS certifications going to help your career? So this will definitely boost your career because Amazon Web Services certification is rated as the most valued IT certification globally. In the latest Magic Quadrant report released by Gartner, AWS maintained its position as the king of cloud infrastructure as a service provider. Also, the average salary of AWS architect is around $125,000. And finally, AWS market is expected to reach $2,036 billion by 2020 at a CAGR of 22%. Now, 
Now these numbers are definitely huge. So let's talk about the different types of AWS certifications and their job roles and salaries. Now in our previous video about the AWS certifications, we talked about the five important type of certifications. Those are the three certifications in the associate level that is the certified solutions architect associate level then AWS certified developer associate level AWS certified sysops administrator associate level and finally the AWS certified solutions architect professional level and AWS certified DevOps engineer professional level. So now talking about the first one which is the AWS certified solutions architect associate level. This particular examination is an associate certification course which helps you to validate your ability to effectively demonstrate knowledge of how to build and deploy a secure and robust application using AWS technologies. Now if you want to get a detail of these exam or like the exam times or the cost for this particular certification you can check out the previous video on AWS certifications and find out. Here we will discuss the different job roles and the salaries. Now based on the data from Payscale, the salary for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate is around 1 million per annum. So this is just an average salary that has been given. Now if we have a look at a detailed description of these salaries, you can see that as a development operations engineer, your average salary would be around 708,000. Then as a solutions architect, it will be around 2 million per year. Then for the senior software engineer, it's around 1 million. For software engineer, it will go up to 608,000 per annum. And for cloud solutions architect, it's around 989,000. Now, if you are a technical architect, it will be around 2 million again. And for information technology consultant, it will be around 1 million. So once you have completed the AWS Solutions Architect Associate, you can go for any of these roles and these are the average salaries based on the role that you have taken up. Now talking about some of the popular companies for AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate certifications, we can see that we have Tata Consultancy Services Limited that pays around 433,000 to around 2 million per annum and for Accenture it's around 357,000 to 3 million. Now again for Accenture Technology Solutions, it's around 527,000 to 3 million and HCL provides around 297,000 to 2 million. Whereas for Wipro Technologies, it's around 350,000 to 4 million per annum. So you can see that this particular certification can get you into any MNC and also the pay is quite high. Now if we talk about experience based on the data collected, you can see that most of the people who take up this particular certification and go for the jobs are in their early career or experienced or mid career entry level late career. Now if we go by the percentage there are around 32.8 percent people with their early career and having this particular certification. Most of the people like 31.3 percent people who are experienced go for this certification as well. People who are in their mid career are around 29.3 percent. The entry level is around 4% and for the late career is just around 2.5%. So basically you should take up this particular certification in your early career or mid career as well. Now moving on to the next certification we have the AWS Certified Developer Associate. Now the AWS Certified Developer Associate exam is all about developing and maintaining AWS based applications. Here you will need to know how to write the actual code that uses AWS software to access AWS applications from within your custom business applications. Now if we talk about the average salary, the salary for the AWS Certified Developer Associate Certification, it ranges around 856,000 per annum. Now if we have a look at the different job roles, you have the Development Operations Engineer, which is around 649,000 per annum. Then we have software engineer as 584,000. Then senior software engineer as 1 million per annum. For a data engineer, it goes up to 1 million per annum as well. For a software developer, it ranges around 585,000 per annum. And for any software engineer, developer, or programmer, it goes up to 483,000. And finally, for a data scientist, it goes up to 787,000 per year. 
Now if we have a look at the popular companies for this particular certification that is the AWS certified developer associate Tata Consultancy Services Limited pays around 86,000 to 1 million per year whereas Wipro Technologies pays around 878 to 1 million and for Accenture Technology Solutions it goes up to 452,000 to 814,000 per year. Then there's Capgemini which pays around 455,000 to 910,000 and finally we have Mind Tree Consulting which pays up to 466,000 per year. Now if we have a look at the years of experience for this particular certification you can see that most of the people who are in their early career goes for this particular certification that is the developer associate certification. So around 51 percent people are in their early career whereas 30.3 percent people are in their mid career and 13.2 percent are experienced whereas there's just 5.2 percent people who are in the entry level who goes for this particular certification. So it is definitely preferable if you take up the certification in your early career itself. Now moving on to the next certification we have the AWS certified sysops administrator associate. Now the AWS certified sysops administrator associate exam is the only certification that is fully geared towards system administrators passing this exam requires both technical expertise and conceptual knowledge of the operational aspects of the AWS platform. Now if we talk about the average salary, the salary for the AWS certified sysops administrator associate certification ranges around 839,000 per year. Now again if we have a look at the different job roles and their average salaries, the first one is the development operations or DevOps engineer which pays around 713,000. Then we have the solutions architect which ranges around 948,000 per annum. Then there's senior development operations or DevOps engineer who gets paid around 1 million per year. Then for software engineer it ranges around 619,000. Then we have senior software engineer, developer or programmer who gets around 910,000 per year. For the role of a system administrator, computer or network the pay goes around 577,000 per annum and finally for a senior software engineer it's around 1 million. And now talking about the popular companies for AWS certified sysops administrator associate level Accenture pays around 805,000 whereas Cognizant Technology Solutions pays around 920,000 and for Cognizant it goes up to 845,000 per annum. Then for e info chips we have 571,000 per year and for General Electric company we have around 1 million. So these are the different popular companies that are hiring for sysops administrator associate level and also these are the average salaries paid by these companies. Now talking about the years of experience again this particular certification is mostly preferred by people who are in the early career and mid career. So here you can see that 44.7 percent people who are in their early career goes for this particular certification. Then 43.3 percent are in their mid career whereas 10 percent are experienced and just 2 percent are in the entry level who prefers this particular certification exam. Now these were about the different associate level certifications that we have in AWS. Now let's go for the professional level. Now the first one is the AWS certified solutions architect professional. Now a professional AWS architect is someone who can evaluate the requirements of organization and make architectural recommendations for implementing and deploying applications on AWS. The certified solutions architect professional certification requires a high degree of technical skill and experience designing AWS based applications. And you can only go for this particular certification once you have completed the associate level. Now talking about the average salary, the average salary for any AWS certified solutions architect professional level is around 2 million per annum. If we look at the job roles and their average salaries you can see that a cloud solutions architect can earn up to 2 million per annum and for a solutions architect the same can go up to 2 million. And similarly, it's same for the development operations or DevOps engineer and information technology architect that goes up to 2 million per year. Now, if you are an information technology consultant, your salary can go up to 1 million per year. 
and for a software architect it can go up to 3 million as well and if you are a senior software engineer developer or programmer it can range around 610000 as well now talking about the popular companies for aws certified solutions architect professional certifications we have amazon.com that pays around 3 million to 4 million per annum whereas for cognizant technology solutions it ranges around 2 million per annum and for cognizant it's 1 million now if we look at Tata Consultancy Services, it goes up to 1 million and finally for Deloitte Consulting, it also goes up to 2 million per annum. Now based on experience, the percentage of people who prefer these particular certification is that 53.5% are experienced. Because this is a professional level, most of the people who already have some years of experience go for this particular certification. So you can see that 53.5 percentage are experienced whereas 23.2 are in their mid career and 16.2 are in their early career for the entry level it's 4.0 percent and for late career it's 3 percent. So for the solutions architect professional level you need to have some hands on experience and also you must have completed your associate level certification as well. Now let's move on to the final one, which is the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Level Certification. Now the DevOps Engineer Certification is all about provisioning, operating and managing applications on the AWS platform. This exam focuses heavily on continuous delivery and the automation of processes, two fundamental concepts of the DevOps movement. This is also a professional level certification, so you need to have some hands on experience and also you must have completed the associate level certifications first. Talking about the average salary, the average salary for the AWS certified DevOps engineer professional certification goes up to 1 million per annum. And talking about the different job roles and their salaries, we have the development operations engineer who can earn up to 1 million per year. Then senior development operations engineer who can also earn up to 1 million. Then there's the information technology architect whose salary can go up to 875,000 per year. For a software developer, it can go up to 5 million and for a cloud solutions architect, it can go up to 3 million as well. Now for a data scientist, the salary ranges around 850,000 and for a development operations engineering manager, it can go up to 1 million as well. Now let's have a look at the percentage of the years of experience and who prefers this particular certification. So here similarly you can see that people who are in their mid career mostly prefers the DevOps engineer professional level certificate. So 40.9% are in their mid career, 31.8% are in their early career and 25% experienced people go for the DevOps engineer professional certification. So this was about the different AWS certifications that you must know about if you are a beginner in this particular technology and also the different job roles and their average salaries. So I hope with this you had an idea about how and why you should take up the different AWS certifications while you are starting your career in AWS. And with this we have come to the end of today's session. So don't forget to let us know about your opinion in the comment section below. Till then. Thank you and happy learning.